Hey everyone, today I've got your Jason Bourne movie review. Jason Bourne is back for a fourth outing, but will he find the answers that he is looking for before he gets ousted? As far as the story goes, director Paul Greengrass directs this next installment to the Jason Bourne franchise, where Jason Bourne is hunting down this terror organization while trying to find out more about his past and the truth that follows along with that, who was involved in whatnot. He's got quite the killing streak that apparently some people are not proud of, so they're out to get him and he's out to get them too, so it's this back and forth thing like we've always seen from these movies in the past. Now, I haven't seen a Jason Bourne film in a while and now, going to this, I feel like it's very neat to see him back in action and all that falls along with it. However, I do feel like the story seems like the same thing that we have seen from movies in the past, though we all know what to expect from a movie like this, so I guess unless you're here to see this movie for a reason that has nothing to do with the actual plot, then yeah, this movie is for you, especially when it comes down to all the other stuff uh, that happens in this film, which is all pretty cool in a way. Definitely makes for an epic, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a conclusion to the franchise, but uh, it would definitely be cool to see more from him. So as far as the casting goes, Matt Damon is Jason Bourne, or he could be other people. I mean, it's been known that he could be uh, all these other identities that are being revealed throughout the films. And in this movie, he's really trying to figure out what all went down, trying to question all of these different people and using his intimidation skills and maybe that KO punch like he did right in the beginning of the film when we're first seeing him and now he's uh, finding all these different people and it just gets pretty crazy and I really like him as an actor and him being this character though I feel like we don't completely learn everything here and I really think he always does a really good job I think with a movie like this he does it pretty well. Now we've got Tommy Lee Jones, who I feel like is one of the villains of this movie, or at least a guy that you probably don't want to mess with. He's hard-hitting, he's intense, but he's also very domineering when it comes to his role in the film, and I really enjoyed watching him on screen and his interactions with uh, everyone I thought was really cool. And then you've got Alicia Vikander, who uh, is a new addition to the cast, and her role I really liked because at first she's on, uh, you know, the side of Tommy Lee Jones and then she sort of gets lured into uh, Matt Damon's scheming and what uh, Jason Bourne has planned. So you're kind of deciding, okay, what side is she really on? You've got Julia Stiles who returns uh, as a series regular and... Uh, I really liked her performance in this movie as well. You've also got the probably main villain of this movie, and I think Vince Cassell definitely does it well. Unfortunately, I feel like he's a very throwaway character and doesn't really add much to the film except for a couple scenes that were jaw-dropping. The things that I did like about this movie, the action was awesome, the stunts were awesome, and of course it was fast-paced, but that's all I was expecting of this movie, so it really wasn't a surprise, but it was all still very cool to see, especially different things uh, that were going on in the uh, places that they were shooting the film. I thought were really cool to see something different like that as compared to the other films in the franchise, but unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie, it really did feel like a rehash of the same plot that we've seen over and over again with the Bourne franchise. So that was also something that was kind of surprising because I thought they were going to do something different. I honestly uh, didn't think it was as special of a film in the end, but it was still very cool to see. So overall, I would say that Jason Bourne was still 
a very action-packed, high-octane uh, Matt Damon film. So I really enjoyed seeing him in this movie and the return of his character, and I would definitely love to see more of him in the future. So I would still recommend seeing this movie despite it having a few flaws. I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Jason Bourne. How would you rate this with the other past Bourne movies, including Bourne Legacy starring Jeremy Renner? And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming up week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.